In this video, we're going to be talking about my use cases with the Salesforce Utility Bar. If you're not familiar with the Utility Bar, it's this bottom bar that I'm highlighting over at the bottom of Salesforce. So the Utility Bars are determined based on what app you're on in Salesforce. So an app, if you hit the nine dot, you'll see uh, different apps pop up. So per app, you can customize the Utility Bar. This is a great use case for departments or for things that uh, um, that you use a lot or use frequently. So we're going to go through my use cases and talk about how I use the utility bar. The first item is my phone. So we use the Vonage uh, VOIP or Voice Over Internet Protocol and they have a soft phone um, API or CTI, I think is what it's called, and you can make phone calls right within Salesforce. And the nice part, uh, that's not a real phone number, but I'll pretend to call it. Um, you can call right within Salesforce. It'll launch lead dialog boxes if it doesn't recognize the phone number. There's other really cool uh, functionality here. Uh, you can take notes, do whatever you need to do uh, within that CTI system. Really neat feature. Next one, um, as a consultant, tracking time is paramount to what we do. So when we track time, we log it by the account and the case that we're working on for that client. And then we resume or pause or stop and start time that we work for clients. That is a visual force page logged, um, set up within the utility bar. So we can have access to that anywhere we go. For this next part, I'm gonna be going over to our sandbox uh, so we don't see any actual customer data. So now we're in our sandbox and I'm going to go to my current or my open cases. So my open cases is a list view item within the utility bar. And all it does is pull in custom list views or standard list views um, from, I believe, just about any object. And uh, you can see those right here. The fourth item are recent items. So recent items are uh, a, a utility bar item that brings in objects that you specify and the most recent items that you've clicked on. So it's a nice easy way to get back to records that you've been on most recently. Uh, Chatter, hopefully you and your company are using Chatter and seeing the value out of Chatter. Chatter is going to pull up your feed from Chatter. Um, so if you're using Chatter a lot, you'll see the feed and that's how you can get into the know very quickly. This next item is called fostering support. Again, this is a visual force page item. We put this for every single one of our clients and it launches out to an external link. But again, this is a visual force page that uh, launch out to um, just an external URL. And last, but certainly not least, are fostering links. You can name these however you want within the utility bar setup, um, but these are commonly used links. So this is a rich text area that you use in the utility bar to uh, do a bunch of external links. So um, I have these somewhat selfishly. <laughs> um, I use my Calendly links all the time uh, for people scheduling meetings with me. But these items are for me and my team to get to client support forms, um, our JIRA, our Confluence, uh, just very nice and easy use, use cases for external links that you need to put. These could be internal links, really doesn't matter, any URL link. Other thing I should talk about is you can do this feature called pop-out. So a pop-out actually launches it in a new Chrome window and you can have them somewhere else. So for instance, let's say that uh, phone utility, right? The CTI, Oop, it automatically wants to launch a lead. You wanna pop that out in a sidebar and maybe use that on another screen or do whatever you wanna do um, with these utility bar links. You can do those by launching that secondary um, pop out. Hopefully this is helpful and gives you some ideas and thoughts on how to use the utility bar. 